John Daniel Gaini, Piping Rock Golf Club. I came from uh, the south of Ireland, a uh, golf course, um, a town by the name of Ballybunion. Um, it's in the southwest coast of Ireland. Um, beautiful golf course, top 100 in the world. Um, yeah, started playing golf from the age of 14. Fell in love with it um, immediately and uh, came over to America and played college golf. Came over here when I was like 21. Went to Scottsdale Community College for a couple of years and then transferred to Rollins. The Met area, um, it's just got the best reputation in golf, you know, it's got the best golf courses, the best players. And um, predominantly it's, the, and, and also Sean Quinlevin, who is um, a local man in my hometown, Bally Bunyan. He is um, a well-established head pro at Piping Rock Golf Club. So I gave him a call when I was doing my PGA and, and then he offered me a position. And I was just, I had to take it. So I was, uh, I was very, very fortunate. And I, uh, I got to thank him a lot for, for me even being here. So, because I took a year off playing professional golf and I was figuring out like what, what went wrong. Cause I feel like I'm good, but I, I never was able to like win anything. And I couldn't figure that out. So I, I, I sat down and I listened to a couple of guys on TV, like Jordan Speed and they're all like setting minor goals. So I came to Long Island. I was like, oh, I want to be a PGA member. I want to, you know, get through my apprenticeship and become a class A. And then I was like, I want to play well in these events. I want to qualify for Long Island Open. And, and then I, the new goal was I want to win it. But you also just, my main thing is like having fun on the golf course again, because when I was playing mini tour golf, like everybody shooting 65, 64, and you just get, you get worn down week in, week out. And only one guy can win at the end of the day, you know? So uh, that was something I took from that. The year out gave me a lot of uh, time to, a lot of perspective and a lot of time to think about what went wrong so now i'm enjoying golf again you know and um here we go i'm sitting here as <laughs> long as an open champion <laughs> it's a short golf course par 70 but it's got a lot of teeth you know you got to hit fairways and you got to plot your way around here um playing the practice round was huge and there's a there's also um, a flyover on youtube so um i mean all the best designers the course designers are out here so um this is, this is just an awesome golf course. What they've done with the greens out here and the bunkering and the fairways are so tight, the fescue's up. It's just, it reminds me an awful lot of Ireland, you know? So um, I was just able to like relive a couple of the shots that I'm able to hit and back home, especially into the wind, the low runners. And you got uh, you got the beer ritz and you got, you got all those different types of uh, features. I wasn't being my own best friend. I know, I watch an awful lot of guys. Another guy I live with, uh, Will Wilcox, a really successful guy on the PGA Tour. And I always watched him and I envied him, his, his mental attitude. That's what separates us. Everybody hits it good. I mean, those guys on tour hit it really good. But um, it's being your own best friend. I want to thank the sponsors for hosting such a great event. The Long Island Golf Association for um, setting up the golf course. And there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes in running a tournament and I'm learning that. Um, working at Piping Rock because we have the member guests coming up this week and the guys are showing me in the shop how to run a tournament and I know how much effort and time and uh, yeah, endless hours go into, into the background. These guys are here at 6 o'clock in the morning until, until night, you know, and then they have to post the score. So I really appreciate everything that they've done. This is a huge honor to win this tournament and um, yeah, I look forward to defending next year.